Hey guys, in this video we are going to install ground mount solar array with 60 solar panels and we have main electrical panel 600 amps with 4 200 amp breakers. So we are going to install 3 sets of inverters, AC disconnects and batteries to back up 3 circuit breakers. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. To support rails and solar panels, we need to do 14 piers. And first step, we're doing layout where piers are going to be located. Next step, we did measure diagonals across these candidates. And now with the line, we're going to measure and mark all posts. Then we're doing trench from solar array to location where all equipment is going to be installed. The trench is 24 inch deep and uh, about 60 feet in length. And here's the electrical panel. We have a uh, 600 amps disconnect and we're going to back up three of those breakers. It is going to the main house. And right here is going to be concrete pad where we're going to do our equipment. And now we're starting to dig all holes for piers. It's a pretty steep area and we're using two men auger and the depth for each hole is going to be 5 feet 6 inches. Right here we installed two extensions and uh, we need to go all the way down. In a few places we hit really hard clay, so we we have to go every inch with a SDS hammer. Here's our pipes, which is going to be in the ground, supporting panels, and uh, it's going to be horizontal runs, and on top of these horizontal runs, it's going to be rails attached. Our plans call them that we need to go to the ground 3 feet and 8 inches, so almost 4 feet, and then horizontal line for entire array. Now I'm going to cut all pipes, and then we can pour concrete. And uh, right there, all pipes cut in size. And right here. And here's the delivery. We have uh, 200 bags, 60 pounds each. So we're gonna pour 12,000 pounds of concrete.
and now we're going to repeat this step 14 times. Now we are going to pour a pad where all equipment is going to be installed. And we did use more concrete for piers that I expected, maybe because it was not 12 inch, it was wider. So I have to do a quick trip to a nearby store and uh, get more material. Also with a heat gun we are adjusting the angle of uh, conduit, so it's gonna be uh, at the bottom of the trench. So we did cut all of them in level. Now we can continue. So for the array, we have this pipe and then we have this T connector. This is edge of array, so we have one pipe. And for example, right here in the middle, we're joining two pipes together. And then we're using this iron edge piece to connect pipe to XR1000 trail. And at this point we are ready for solar panels. We are going to install 60 of them, 395 watts each panel. So total array size is going to be over 23 kilowatts. For the batteries and energy storage, we're going to use Fox product because we have three 200 amp breakers. We're going to use three Fox hubs, which is like gateway. Then this is inverter and that's a battery. And the city where we're located requires three feet distance between energy storage devices. Even they do have required certification to be installed less than three feet. So what we're going to do is uh, it's going to be three feet between batteries. Right here is going to be AC disconnect and one hub and right here is going to be two AC disconnects and two hubs.
here's all batteries and the uh, inverters installed. Interesting fact, for this project we did use over 2000 feet of different cables and wires. And here we are, run all wires for all three AC disconnects and hubs. And this is back side. Now in main electrical panel we're going to replace lugs for neutral because all of them are occupied. I'm going to install this double lug. And here are all, all wires. We're using insulated lug connectors to intercept sub panel from a breaker. So from a breaker is going to hubs and then coming back and going to sub panel. Next step, on the left side from the array, we're going to have three DC disconnects and I'm going to wire all strings through DC disconnects to junction box. And here's the finished array. We installed hubs and AC disconnects on the unistruts and because it was movement we added another unistrut on the back to make triangle and right now it's a pretty stable frame. Alright guys, that's all about this video, I hope you will find something useful here. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.